Hi Joey, how are you doing today? I am fine thank you and how are you? I am fine thank you. How is your work going on? It's been pretty hard lately. Why what's the problem? Let me know I may help you. I am working on a data set to group the household power consumption data into different clusters based on the data provided, and I am having difficulty to proceed further. This seems to be a clustering problem. Why don't you use Azure ML to process the data? But I don't have much knowledge on coding. You can use Azure ML without much knowledge of coding. I can give a small demo on Azure ML. For this case, you can use clustering model for the dataset. Can you describe what is a clustering model? Clustering can be considered the most important unsupervised learning problem. So, as every other problem of this kind, it deals with finding a structure in a collection of unlabeled data. This can be used to group class labels. Joey, can you give a small description regarding structural model on how a clustering model works? Here you can see how a machine learning algorithm is built. This is a basic outer view on how we should build a machine learning algorithm. Now let's see a clustering model structure that can be configured in Azure ML. Here you can see the structural view of the clustering model in Azure ML. Now, I will show you a small demo on clustering model experiment. Here I am going to use individual household electric power consumption dataset from UCI machine learning repository for this demo. As you can see here the dataset information and attribute information is provided in detail. Before you start the Azure ML demo can you tell me, some of the advantages of using Azure ML? Azure ML is the new Azure service which reduces the complexity of machine learning process. And one of the main advantages of Azure ML is the possibility to develop machine learning models without writing code, that is design, build, deploy as service. Here you can see the some of the main advantages of Azure ML. Now let's proceed with creating an Azure ML experiment. To create an Azure ML experiment click on the new button and select blank experiment. Now enter the dataset name in the search bar and drag the dataset to the canvas. Make sure to rename the experiment and give an appropriate name. Now search for the clean missing data model and add it to the experiment. Make sure to change the cleaning mode to remove entire row. Now search for the normalizing model and add it to the experiment. To perform the clustering, search for k-means clustering model and add it to experiment. After this, we need to add a train clustering model to train the data for the prediction process and then connect the model to normalized data and k-means clustering model. Now click on column selector and then click on all columns and then select the following features as shown to train it with k-means clustering model. Now click on save button to save the experiment and then click on run button to run the experiment model. To check the clusters right click on train clustering model and select visualize option. Here you can see the plot of the model. Now click on set up web service button to set up the predictive experiment. Before deploying the experiment we have to run the predictive experiment to check for any errors. Click on run button to run the experiment. After the running process is done click on deploy web service button to deploy the experiment. Joey, how can I check if the model build is working properly? To check if the model build is working properly, click on test option to test the web service. Now click on CSV icon to enter the CSV values to test the web service. Enter the values in CSV format and click on Test Request Response button. Now let's check the test results. Here you can see, which cluster the data provided belongs to and its distances to cluster center. Now let's test the predictive experiment in Excel worksheet. To test the experiment in Excel worksheet go back to the deployment page and download the Excel sheet as per the requirement. Now open the Excel worksheet and select Enable Editing option. Here click on the web service to predict the data. Now click on use sample data button and select the data and then again click on range selection macros to select the input data. Now enter the cell in which output data needs to be displayed and then click on predict. Here you can see, which cluster the data provided belongs to and its distances to cluster center. This proves that the module we designed is accurate. That's all for this video. For any queries please reach us at vj.ready at songom.ai.